see that? What? I didn't see anything. It was like somebody crossed here. I didn't set in place. Let's go. You since morning to go and pick up my fiance, and you kept me this since morning. Why? Yes, when I get to his house, he wasn't around. So, as I was coming by, the car broke down. So, I had to park by the side and check around. Did you hear that? This boy is a fool. No, please, I'm sorry. Please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're very stupid. Please. 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 I'm sorry. Please don't. Do you know what he said? Please you went to the house, you did not see him, the car broke down. What kind of story is that? But, but you could have called. You could have just called. But yes, but I'm sorry. It will just happen again. And look at the time. Just, just what do we do? Oh, I'm sorry. Princess, I think we we'll have to get to the main road, find the car, anyhow, and just get to the program. Oh huh? Okay, let's. You heard the cry? Mm -hmm. Yes, it was. A sharp cry of distress. The person in there needs our help. And I think we should go in and find out. Yes, sir. I understand. But see, we're already late for this program. And I think we should be going now. Let's just go ahead. Yes. But it is not wise and godly to leave someone there. That person needs our help. He's in trouble. I understand. But for goodness sake, princess, this could be a trap. Moreover, look around. This place could be dangerous. The spirit of fear I know is not from the Lord. No, I am not afraid, princess. Princess, I'm, I'm not afraid. I'm in there to find out what is wrong. Princess, I strongly advise against this. Okay, okay. No problem. Just take this back. Let's go find out. Go. Let's go. Let's go in and find out. I strongly advise okay. against this. My princess, take it easy. I strongly advise against this.
The boss can do is a farm after the princess. The princess? Yes. Pray, yes. yes. inside, inside.
Praise the Lord, brothers and sisters, I greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I brought good news to you. The good news, the topic that says, the love of Christ towards man. God loves man so much that he sent only his beloved son. He came into this world. He died for us to be saved. He placed his men, priests, pastors, that will be directing us straight to where our Lord Jesus Christ is, which is the author and the finisher of our faith. But it's quite unfortunate that man deviated from the status of God. Man separated himself from where God kept man. God became annoyed. And that is why so many misfortunes are falling on us. Yes. I will be just. I will be just. 
rejoice and be glad in it. And be glad in it. Hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day. Another day that the Lord has made. My love, my treasure, today is the happiest day of my life. Unforgettable. My day, I don't know how to express the joy in my heart. Today, my dream for years has come to reality. My treasure, you are a promise fulfilled. Please, let's go down on our knees and sing to the Lord for what He has done for us. Not anymore. Why? The days of pretense are over. I have accomplished my mission. <laughs> what are you talking about? I mean, what are you saying? You've been given with a maximum all the while. Now it's time for you to rule the man under the mask. I am not a founder. I am a share, servant of the ocean serpent with seven heads from the mouth. This is my true identity. Lord no, no, Jesus! Lord of Jesus! Lord of Jesus! Lord of Jesus! Lord of Jesus! Jesus! Lord of Jesus! It is unfortunate. Pathetic! It is pathetic! You have crossed the boundary of the Lord! Man, you save me! The Lord of Jesus! I will give you! The Lord of Jesus! You are doing what I will have you! I will have you!
no te ¡Ay, Carlos! ¡Un Stop wasting your time. He cannot hear you or help you. Your soul is trapped for no, 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 no. I will make you pay for all you cost my kingdom. No! You will pay dearly. No! No! Calls for celebration. Oh my god. Oh. For years we've really waited for this. Oh. She should pay dearly. You At know. least we have waited patiently, patiently for this day. For this day. Oh. God bless us. She should <laughs> Thank God I found you here. The one that is a demon. A blood sucking demon. They want to kill me. Please, you should have me in prayers now. They want to kill me. Please, you should have me in prayers. Oh my god. It is not a laughing matter. You push it. Oh my god. A blood sucking demon. They want to kill me. She said that Vata is a demon. It's not a laughing matter, I'm serious. Let us pray. They want to kill me. Let us pray. Let us pray. Evanda is a demon. Look at him coming. Please stop breathing. Look at it. Look at it coming. Look at it coming. You push it. You push it. Stop breathing. You push it. Stop breathing. Greetings, Ashira, the ultimate prince of darkness. We your servants. I am proud of you, faithful and loyal servants. You have made me proud. And I promise you, you shall be greatly rewarded for the roles you played in this mission. The Lord revealed to you is the plan of the enemy against Sister Tabitha. I warned her, I advised her to be careful so that she will not mistakenly give the enemy the chance to come into her life. 
but she did not listen because of the traps she saw as love. She disappointed God and myself. She took away all the right I have over her and warned me never to come close to her again. It is unfortunate and painful that Sister Tabitha, who started her race in the spirit, is ending up in the fresh. Not only in the fresh, but in the trap of the enemy. Father, I understand that she has wronged you. But I'm begging you to please forgive her. Let us not skip mute and allow the enemy prevail in this circumstance. We shouldn't allow this dream to come to pass. Because not only would it destroy her, it might kill her. I'm just asking for permission to go and see her. Please. You can go. Thank you very much, Father. May the peace of the Lord be with you. May the Almighty protect and guide you in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. I won't be done. Of course I'll help you. Are you alright? Oh my god. 
Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Hello? Yes. Dr. Michael. Please, I'm at the back room. There is an emergency there and it needs your attention. Yes, please come with an ambulance, please. Faster. Okay, thank you. accident some weeks ago and the princess helped me. She helped to save my life. Please, I want to see her so that I can thank her for what she did for me. Is there an appointment? Oh. Okay. Wait till you come in. Grace of God Almighty, I am fine. Stronger than I look. Minister of God. Yes. I came to thank you for what you did for me. 
I don't know what would have happened to me if you did not come to my rescue. Thank you, I am grateful. My brother, I did nothing. You should be thankful to God for saving your life. He only used me as an instrument. Yeah. Princess Tabitha Emmanuel. You are indeed a great instrument in the hands of the Lord. You know me? I mean, you know my name? Yes, I know you. In fact, it was one of your ministrations that I heard at a friend's house that transformed my life. It touched me and transformed me. I see. Please, can you tell me about yourself? My name is Evander Escher. I am from Ituma tribe. My family is into Hinduism. The community I came from the entire community is into Hinduism. Okay. My father happened to be the wealthiest chief in my community and a great persecutor of the believers. It's unfortunate I was one of the people persecuting the believers. I fought against the believers in my community tyrannically till so last year when I came across one of your ministrations at a friend's house, I was touched. The ministration melted my heart and captured me. Then I accepted Christ. When my father knew of this, he was mad with me. He tried to stop me, but when he could not succeed, he planned to kill me. But thank God, thank God who used one of our servants who loved me to save me. The young man came and told me my father's plans against me. That was the reason I left my community at night. I boarded a cab from my community to Lagos and on our way we were attacked by armed robbers. I ran into the bush. The armed robbers followed me. I ran for minutes in the bush and when my boots could not carry my legs, I fall. The armed robbers descended on me like scavengers. They nearly killed me. But thank God. Thank God who saved me. My brother, God's love and his faithfulness has no bounds. He says that when you pass through the fire and the best part of the ocean, you will be right there with us. We can only see all those things with our eyes, but they will not come close to us, okay? Well, by the grace of God, I am a singer. Wow! You mean you can sing? Yes, I... I sing worldly songs before, but when I accepted Christ, I decided to use 
my voice to serve the Lord, my Creator. Please, can we do a bit of that now? if we rehearse that song before coming. You mean it? The people were falling down on their knees, is crying and praying to God. Glory be to God. Ah. I've been thinking of something. In fact, I've made up my mind about it. What do you think? I want to make you my permanent thinking partner. What? How about that? That is awesome. I'm honored. I'm really honored. I don't know how to express the joy in my heart. I like ways to express it. Thank you. It is indeed a great privilege to serve the Lord through songs under your tutelage. <laughs> you are welcome to this house anytime. Whenever you have any problem, just come. 
tell me anything you want to say. I don't have a problem. I don't think I have a problem. I don't okay. think I have a problem. You've done more than enough for me. <laughs> when I was in the hospital, you food my hospital bills. <laughs> you saved me from dying on the road. You've done a lot. I'm really grateful. The only challenge I think I have now is accommodation. You know, since I came into town, I've been sleeping in a hotel. So that has been so expensive and exorbitant. That's the only challenge I have now. Just that. Yeah. Consider it done. I will take care of that, okay? okay? Please make yourself comfortable. God is coming to offer you something. Excuse me. It's going to be something extraordinary. I believe. Very soon. I, I, soon. I know. We do, can do all things through Christ to strengthen us. Yes, so. My love. Yes. I yes. bought something for you. Something for me? Yeah. And what can that be? Let me see. Close your eyes. Okay. Open, open. <laughs> What's funny? What's this? That's a jewelry. A jewelry? Yeah. But you know I don't put on jewelries. Why are you giving me this? So tell me, why don't you put on jewelries? What's the reason? This is what me. All those things, they are things of the world. And the Bible says that if we love the world, then the love of the Father is not in us. On the contrary, you are missing to pretend the Bible. My love, listen, even the Bible says you should look good. As sons, kings, and queens. Listen, as a minister, you don't have to dress this a cake. You don't have to act as if you are at the back of the world because you are a born again Christian now. This is 21st century. And that you put on these things, that you put on jewelry, your makeup, you fix your hair, you fix your nails, doesn't mean that you're of the world. As a minister, you have to look good because the way you dress determines the way people are dresses you. Listen, 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 listen. I can't imagine myself putting on all those things, making my hair. I can't, I, I can't do that. It's, it's against my faith. Please, just, just take this. Take it, I don't need it. Yes, sweetheart. Are you trying to reject the first gift I've ever given you? It's a gift from my heart. I can't imagine you trying to reject it. Please. Though it looks small, but it is actually from the bottom of my heart. It is a token of my love for you. 
please. You know how much I love you and I can never lead you astray. I can never put you into what can destroy you. If looking good will take you out of the track of righteousness, believe you me, I can't do it. But I'm sure I'm convinced beyond every reasonable doubt that looking good is biblical and will never destroy you. Please. Um, is that? Ah, yes? Ah, yes? Ah, yes? <laughs> All right, let's try it. Hey, don't worry, it's not harmful. <laughs> yeah. You have never taken a decision behind me before. And that was why I could not believe it. When I was told that you now attend programs with a certain young man, my daughter, why? Daddy, I'm sorry. Sorry about it. Okay. Daughter, such thing should not repeat itself again. As for the young man, he has no bad record. But you should just continue going to programs with him. Daddy, but why? <sighs> if such thing should be done, it must to be on the order of your father, the king. He will also choose who he will partner with. Careful so that the enemy will not see a way of sowing a seed of destruction in your life. Then make myself clear. Okay. Thank you, Dad. God bless you. Has proposed to me and I accepted. Princess Fabita, what are you showing me? You are showing me an engagement ring? Yes. From the young man I told you to depart from. After what I said about him, you continued with him to the extent that he proposed to you with time and consent that you accepted. Now you are showing me in the to rain. I love him. I love him. Yes, you loved him. Oh, you don't know that thing called love. It is a weapon of destruction by the enemy against you. But you don't know. We can't see because you are blind. We cannot see. Look at the way you dress. Look at the way you dress. Can you even show yourself from all those other guests in the street the room about as an adult? Look at you. Look at you. I feel hey. Look at everything about you. Look at, look at. Very defective appearance. Oh, do you know that you are a minister of God? You preach. You, you, when I'm preaching, no. I have people who see you as you have preached to them before. And you're telling me, you're showing me, and I'm getting married. Let me ask you, did you inquire from your father, the king, before accepting that offer? Did you? That's why I told you know, because you, you, you are blind, you can't see. But let me tell you, I am not in support of that proposal. I never be, I can never, I will not support it. Daddy, all those things you're saying now doesn't matter. Keep quiet. It does not matter to you now. But where is your matter? Where is your matter? Ah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You will, you, 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 you will cry. You are heading for destruction. You better think about it. Daddy, what matters is that. Evander loves me and I love him so much. You are the person saying this. You are saying this, you love, you love. That thing is destructive appearance and offer to you. You don't know. 
It's a pity. It's just a pity that you allow the devil to deceive you, deceive you, pull you away from the faith, and you are now empty. You can't see, you can't, you don't know anything again about God, your father in heaven, you don't know. Let me ask you again. How am I sure that you are still keeping with the faith? How? With the way you appear? From what God kept you? Is it money? Is it house? Is it unfruitfulness? Is it material things? Name them. What is that the Bible says? What shall separate us from the love of God? Oh, the simple says that none of them. My brother, what is that particular thing that moves you away from where God is pointing? Give me this envelope. I need it. I am not a big girl. I know what I'm doing. And I've been begging you for a very long time that God has given it to me. What is it? Is it my fault? I know what I am doing. I know what I'm... Look at me. I'm a big girl. Just give... Give it to me for crying out loud. I need this things. I need them. Ah! Please give it to me. I'm wasting my time. On those, I, I, I have things to do. You've been keeping this thing since I was a child. And now I am begging you, crying and pleading. Don't want to give Please, I need them. You are wasting my time. You are wasting my time. I need this thing. I don't want you to waste me again. Give it to me. I want to live my life the way I want. Oh no, please. It's I'm kind of all this kind of lifestyle. I am not begging for something that belongs to me. I need these things. I need them. And you must give them to me now. Now. I am waiting on you. You are wasting my time. They've been in your position for a very long time now, and I need them. Is it your own? It's my own. It's my own now. I know what I'm doing. Ah. I hope everything is safe. Thank you. Treasure from the Lord. Yes. You sent for me. Yes, I did. This file here contains all I inherited from my father. Three duplex in Abuja. Five manufacturing companies. Lands and other things. They now belong to both of us. So, tomorrow we are going to look for a lawyer to legalize it. Wow. My love. My love. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. That's really great. My love. Yes. My most expensive treasure. <laughs> I love you. Love you too. And no matter what people out there do, they can never separate us. Nothing can ever come between us. Yes. Nothing will come between us. We are together forever. You and I will leave us one. You and I will leave us one. You and I will leave. You and I will leave. You and I will leave.
this one. <laughs> wow, that's so sweet. Good. So, can I hear yours? You and I will leave us one. You and I will leave us one. You and I. You and I. You and I will leave us one. Thank you. You're welcome. As I said to you. life sleeping on the ground if I say you're stupid will you blame me anyway the master and the wife do not want to entertain any visitor today you get that yes, yes, yes. you better do Is this a dream? Me, you go. Sleeping on the ground. By this time of the day. No taking a pass. You can see. Me. Hey! You can see, Mama. Is around. Yes, but you cannot see a man of God. Why? She weathered with um, Bagaibanda today, and they say they don't want to get any visitor. Weathered? Yes, one of God. One of God. Hope there's no problem. There's no problem, don't worry. Yes, yes. There's no problem. Um, you can call her or the still. You can come back to me. I'll try you with her. It's alright. Don't bother, I'll be on my way now. Alright. Okay, bye bye. Keep me your prayers with you.
Why the righteous are now under the enemy? Ah, what I want to tell you. If we can return back today, we will regain our dominion. The buyer of the remaining property said he needs to see the documents to confirm they are original and genuine. Okay. All he needs to see is in that file. Okay. Make sure your things are packed before you. 
live in. Because once I receive a lot, we are out of this town. Get that trash into the car. All right. My lord, we are sent. The monkey is at the trunk of the car. Let's go.
Good morning. Ogan Princess has traveled you. Traveled? Yes. To where? I don't know. I don't know the place in particular. But I'm sure you should be outside the country. And they're coming back. I don't know. It's alright. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. It's happening so fast. Yeah, 
That is the way they seem it right unto a man, but the end is destruction. Therefore, don't allow anything to take you away from where God said, Look unto, because he that will come must come, he will not tarry. You can make a U-turn today because he's coming to rapture the church without spots or wrinkle. Don't allow the material things to separate you from where God wants you to be. Because we are strangers in this world, all these things are temporal. But I want to tell you, there is something that is internal, which is heaven where we are going. <laughs> says that is the way they seem it right unto a man but the end is destruction therefore don't allow anything to take you away from where god say look unto because he that will come must come he will not tarry. you can make a u-turn today because he's coming to rapture the church without spot or wrinkle don't allow the material things to separate you from where god wants you to be because we are strangers in this world all these things are temporal, but I want to tell you there is something that is internal, which is heaven where we are going. <laughs> Thank you. 
the mighty whatsoever be a plan so the enemy against her. In the form of insult, but I stand in the And I will do nothing with such activities. Father, we give a hand in this world of all. Let your mercy, let your blood speak forth for me.
God, I believe that you answer prayers. Therefore, Lord, I lift up my sister. Tavita unto you. Father, I do not understand what is happening to her. The trend of things are happening so fast. Father, things are happening so fast in her life. Father, Lord, please guide her. Guide her. Guide her. Let your mercy speak on her behalf. Mercy, O oh God. Mercy. 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 Wherever she is, let your blood get speaking on her behalf. For the enemy has come to destroy her life. But because you bought her at a precious price, she is vulnerable to you, ah, to the kingdom. Never allow the enemy to play lead role in her life. But never allow the enemy to take control of her life. She is your daughter whom you used to do great exploits. I do not understand the meaning of the dream I have concerning her. It doesn't look good. It doesn't look good, Lord. No. Please, God. Whatsoever be the meaning of that dream, every negative implications of that dream, by the authority in your name, I cancel such dream. May it be canceled this moment, O oh God. Never let the enemy truncate her destiny. For the angry plans of the enemy against her life, O oh God. I stand in the authority of your name and I cancel such. It shall not stand. Even as the enemy prevail in the way, it shall not come to pass. For her life is in your hands. Wherever she is, be her in the honor of your hands. Wherever she is, O God, let the blood keep speaking on her behalf. Let mercy say no to every of her problem. Never let the enemy laugh at her. Please, her soul is vulnerable to you, to humanity, to the kingdom. Please, God, in the mighty name of Jesus.
Greetings to you, my Lord Spiritual. Rose. My Lord. Our kingdom is under a great threat. And the Grandmaster demands that we stop him fast. And who is he? A boy? That is what he is in the eyes of mortals. But in the realm of immortal, he is a great giant, a powerful soldier of the cross, who has threatened the king of the Grand Master, pitting government imagination with a short while. The Grand Master demands that we stop him fast. I give you a prayer for your science. As it pleases the master, so shall I do.
living reality. To
Father, I love you because your blood speaks on our behalf. Father, I thank you for victory. into a Christian family. I worked in the vineyard as a chorister from childhood. I recorded many albums that did not sell to my satisfaction. My desire to be one of the best selling artists led me into the hands of a music marketer who is an ambassador to the kingdom of darkness. Before I realized that he was leading me to the hands of the devil, I had gotten already there. And there was no going back. <laughs> oh, I wish that the Lord would forgive me. 
of all the things I did. I have done so many despicable things, especially against the church. Sister, our God is a merciful God. And he's not a fault finder. He said in his word that even if our sins are as black as charcoal, that he can wash us to be as clean and as white as snow. Yes, if our Lord Jesus Christ shall set you free, you will be free indeed. Yes. Go ahead and put the devil to shame. Just be bold. Go on and expose the devil. I was assigned to work against any living church I come across. I destroyed many men of God. I lured many ministers of God into sin and rendered them powerless. I destroyed many marriages, businesses, and destinies. <laughs> On the control of the evil power that I was working for. <clears throat> I did many evils, but the most pathetic is that of Princess Tabitha, whom we destroyed through one of our agents called Ivanda, who used love to deceive her. We took all that she had and sold her as a slave to a distant land. Princess Tabitha, that's my sister. You mean she's your sister? She is. Please forgive me. I'm so sorry. I never enjoyed the days I fought against the church and the ministers of God. I was only doing them because I had no choice. Please forgive me. You, you said you sold her into slavery. Yes. Do you know the place or the person who you sold her to? Yes, I can remember. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Hello? Hello? Good afternoon, sir.
No, stop! Um, have you come with another business? On the contrary, I have come to take the girl. <laughs> there is no refund of money after I've done it. Huh? Are you out of your senses? Huh? By the way, which of the of my slaves are you talking about? The princess. You are stupid. <laughs> that is why you fed it. She will never ever come back to you again. Now get away from here. I don't have time to battle words with you. Sam is close! <laughs> Sam! Kiki! Where do you think you are taking her to? Do not come any further. If you love your lives, our lives are hidden in Christ. And there is nothing you can do about it. Gods. Mm. Gods. But I will feed your flesh to the vultures. You will die me to a battle. Because I stand in the authority of Christ, I stand against every of your manipulations against her. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, lose your powers over her. She is an ambassador of Christ, and today heaven has come to rescue her. There is nothing hey, like her. In the name of Jesus Christ. I bring your powers to nothingness. I stand on the altar of the Most High God, and I bring you to nothingness, you foul spirit. Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lose your grip on her. In the mighty name of Jesus. Out in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, she is free. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, your deliverance shall be permanent. Every principalities and powers of the enemy, every stronghold that walk in this body, I stand in the authority of Christ and I bring it to a stop. You are free in Jesus' name. Out in the name of Jesus. Out in the name of Jesus. Christ Jesus has set you free. Therefore, you shall be free. In the mighty name of Jesus. 
out in Jesus' name. Father, shut the house. Thank you, Jesus. Father, shut the house. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Father, I thank you. Here. It's a long story. Don't worry. The scripture says that the days that the caterpillar and the canker will have eaten, the world shall rest up. And the glory of the latter shall be greater than the former. Don't worry. Christ Jesus, who has given you a second life, will restore you. Thanks be to this God who has been so merciful. Father, we thank you. We thank you. We glorify your holy name in Jesus. Exactly what I'm saying. Man is no longer in the place where he's supposed to be. That is where we are facing a lot of calamities today. The priests and princes. Have you forgotten the Bible says we're small God? God made us to be priests and princes. But because we have spat on the face of God, devil hold on us. We are now in the land of captivity. Singing the Lord's song in the strange land. Ah, what a painful situation. God is expecting us to come back. What is that thing? Tell me, what is that particular thing? That God is pointing in your life and saying, I don't want it. Please, don't take any pleasure in it. Because God, the eyes of the Lord are too holy to behold iniquity. So I want to draw a curtain here. But it's time for you to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. Bow down your heads, let us pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Abba Father, I thank you. I bless you because of this wonderful opportunity. Give it to us to die on your table. Ah, I thank you because I can see my audience out there. Ah, I can see them returning back. May your name alone be lifted up. I come against any power of the enemy. I come against any activities of the enemy. I rebuke them. I resist them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, restore our power back. Restore our dominion back. Help us to 
to regain our strength once again. Father, help us to be what you want us to be in this life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you, my brethren. May God bless you. Go in this time, mind. Walk with the Lord. You will never regret having him as your personal Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. Amen.